Hello everyone, welcome back to another developer log for Mercenary Operator Wolves. I would normally only do a dev log at the end of each season, because that would be about the only time I'd have a lot of progress done, but this time I uh, actually have quite a bit, it's kind of a special occasion. I finally have an actual playable version, uh, the Kill House demo is now created, so I decided I would create a kind of special developer log to uh, commemorate the occasion. I actually finished this yesterday, but I did, was busy with other videos and other stuff. But it's only a day late, so it is all good. So I'm probably going to miss a lot of stuff. It seems like every time I do one of these videos I forget a few features, and this time I completely forgot to write down a change log, so I don't have anything to go off of for new features. But uh, a lot of it's pretty explicit, like, brand new uh, main menu, I got a actual character up here on the main menu. I'm planning on having more of like an actual background later in the full release, um, not in the demo, uh, where I have like an actual nice like scene back here. Um, but I'll just kind of go through these. So I've got credits, I'm not actually gonna make anyone sit through this, but yeah, fully um, working credit scene, pretty run of the mill, you know? It's just a credits. I got settings, which I plan on making better later. You can change the resolution here. Controls and audio. I do need to fix this because I don't even have this saved right now. It's just per uh, every time you start the game, it'll be back at 100. But um, I got some how to play stuff on different aspects of the game. Actually, a lot of this stuff is kind of boring. Uh, moving on. Anyway, high scores. Uh, for whatever you get in the game. I got a loadout screen, and this one's pretty cool, so I'll spend a bit more time on this. So we got uh, a lot of 8K variants currently, because those were pretty easy to put together, because uh, the way I drew the uh, sprites for the 8K was just a matter of like putting on different uh, handguards and a few differences, just like the uh, folding uh, hinge pin in the back for the 74 versus the 74M and the 103 and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you can choose your loadouts here, and then it'll apply in-game. I'm gonna just go with the, uh, or actually I'll go with the AK-74M, because I have a new AK-74 sound. And, uh, currently the only secondary is the M9, because I haven't done any others yet. But I'm planning on it. I think I might do a Makarov next. We'll, we'll see. Um, so let's just get started here. Uh, one of the first, kind of bigger changes you'll see here is now it starts at a much more zoomed out level. You can still zoom in and out, but, uh, when I was playing through this, testing it, I found that actually this um, works a lot better. It uh, Where it was before it was a bit too zoomed in, so I didn't like that. Uh, we got a loadout table here. I was planning on originally having it so you could select your loadout from inside the game, but it didn't work well, so now it just pops up a hint like you can do this from the main menu. Got a refill ammo station, which you might need if you run this kill house course like a hundred times, because you only have ten mags and uh, 4 mags for the M9. Um, yeah, so let's get started here. I'm not gonna go for like any high scores or anything. I'm just gonna kinda go through this slowly and talk about it. So, once you hit the start line, of course it starts, it closes this gate behind you, opens the finish gate. Um, you can still switch shoulders. As you shoot targets, the count goes up. I actually weighted the score so that Accuracy matters a lot more than time. I didn't want this to be like a speedy, like, uh, twitch-based shooter like uh, Call of Duty. I'm really not into that kind of thing. I wanted it to be more kind of slow and methodical. You could even say tactical, but that's kind of become a buzzword now, so I don't like using that. I've got two types of targets in this kill house. I have clay pigeons and regular pop-up targets. All of these targets do reset every single time you actually play. Um, and also, I don't remember if this was in the last dev log, but, uh, actually, yeah, it was. I was about to mention the tracer rounds, but yeah, I believe that was in the last developer log, so I won't talk about that again. Um, one thing I'm particularly concerned about, I noticed when I was playing through this, is whenever you walk up to a surface, um, I don't know, that's, it's not working super well, but even when it is, it, it doesn't seem like... Like, it's working as intended, and I don't even know if I like it as it is. Even when it's working correctly, it's not that fun. With the gun folding in, it can be a bit confusing. Uh, 
I don't think I showed the sprites for these cars. A lot of new sprites in general. And there we go. 2,904, as you can see. You do lose time. I believe the value was like... Uh, I don't even remember what the math is, but anyway, you can see. You lose a few points for the time taken, but get a ton of points for accuracy. And uh, 100 per target hit. Um... So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I won't get too much into upcoming features, but uh, one of the big ones I have planned for the actual full like release of the game is uh, I'll be changing up this main menu a bit more. I'm going to improve the settings menu a lot. Um, it's not great as it is now. I want it, I want it to... Uh, I want to see you can rebind your controls from inside the game, which you cannot do currently, uh, and just stuff like that. So this came out to be quite a bit shorter than I was expecting. Uh, it always does. It always seems like my devlogs last around six or seven minutes, maybe. Um, there's not a whole lot of gameplay. Most of it now is just like the mechanics are in place. And after this, I will be uh, actually going around and uh, doing the story now. So. It is a cool day. I finally have an actual playable version of the game. It took almost uh, a year kind of on and off, uh, but it's good. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one hopefully sooner rather than later. See you then.